Cisco Secure Firewall, Configuring NetFlow, or NSOL as it's referred to in ASA and FTDs, stands for Network Secure Event Logging, using the Flex Config configuration options. So here we are at our FMC. One of the first things we're going to do for our Flex Config is we got to configure our Flex Config objects. So where do we do that? We're going to go to Objects, Object Management. And over here on the left hand side you're going to see flex config and in here there's two kinds of set um, configurations for the flex config object and the text object. So we go into flex config object first and I'm going to type NetFlow in the upper right hand corner up here to narrow this down make it a little easier to find. You can see we have four objects that we can actually place inside of the um, flex config configuration itself. We'll do that later on. Um, but we've got add destination, clear, delete destination, set parameters. So if we ever need to delete it or clear the settings, we use these two. Um, for adding it, we're going to be using the add destination and the add set parameters. Now by default, we're going to have to make a copy of this. We'll do that in a minute because first we're going to jump down to text objects. This is where the um, specifics of the configuration is actually going to be inserted. So we're going to go in here to NetFlow. Do the same thing. You see I have destination, uh, event types, and NetFlow parameters. So let's go look at NetFlow parameters first. You can see that's set to 1030. And we're not going to make any changes here. But if you look at that, you can see we got those are the variables that are going to be called by the flex config objects. And we can scroll through here and it kind of talks about what these are. You know, what's the first one up there? Um, active refresh interval, number of minutes between flow update events, uh, the delay the default is zero and of course the template timeout is set to 30 minutes and that's just fine for what we're going to be using this for. Um, this is part of another demonstration that we're doing for sending uh, NetFlow telemetry or actually what we call ENSEL when we're referring to ASAs and FTDs Network Secure Event Logging but it's basically the ASAs and the FTDs version of NetFlow has a few extra fields in it. We'll cover that in another video what those fields are but um, so let's go ahead and save this. For event types, let's go in and edit this one. We're going to want all event types. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this down to one. And I'm going to say I want all event types in my variable. So let's go ahead and click save on that. And here was one that kind of comes with the fun stuff here. So we're going to go up here into NetFlow destination. And we're going to need to add three variables to this. You see it talks about it right here. You know what we're going to need? We're going to need the interface it's going to go out of, the destination IP address of where it's going to, and a port number that's associated with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this to three. One, two, three. And of course the first thing is what interface is it going out of? Now right now my um, sensor, um, it's actually my private network monitoring sensor for XDR analytics is actually sitting on the inside of my data center interface. So I'm going to put DC in here. Of course the next one is going to be the IP address of that particular device. And in this case it's going to be 172.16.10.250. That's the IP address of the interface that's going to be consuming the telemetry on it. And then of course and the third one is what port we're going to actually be sending it over. Now um, traditionally they use port like um, 2055 but in this particular case I'm actually going to be sending it to port 9997. Now why am I doing that? So here is the Cisco Secure Cloud Analytics sensor installation guide. What we're talking about here is the PNM sensor for XDR analytics. If you go scroll down here it makes some suggestions on what port you should send things to. So here we go. Configuring a sensor to collect flow data. And for, you know, NetFlow version 5, it says, you know, port 2055, NetFlow version 9, send it on 9995, IP fix and stuff. But right here, Cisco ASA, it's also talking about the FTDs. We're going to be sending it on 9997. Now, we can set these to anything we want. We talk more about that in the, some of the PNM sensor videos. But I'm just going to go ahead with what the documentation is saying here. So anyways, that's why we're using uh, 9997. I'm going to go ahead and click Save here. And here we go. So I got uh, interface destination DC, the IP address, and the port. Now I'm going to show you one more thing in this, this destination thing, because there's a little tricky. Uh, it's pretty often we don't have just one firewall at our one location. Now this is my HQ firewall that I have that I'm going to be using for my data center. But what if I have other firewalls? Well, I can use the same object. So how do I do that? Down here at the bottom, they got this feature called overrides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an override 
for some of this. So it's going to go to add. So then what we're going to do here is we're going to choose, you know, because these two devices, you know, HQ's got like four interfaces coming off it. Uh, the FTD remote just has the two. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the FTD remote. We're going to add that. We're going to do an override on it. We're going to add those three variables. And remember what those three variables are. So interface, destination, and port. Well, um, the interface on the HQ, the traffic's going out the data center. And on the there's a different PNM center at the remote site, and that's going to be, that's not as big, so it doesn't have like a data center to go out, so it's going to go out the inside interface here, and the local address of 192.168.35.250, but it's still going to be on the same port, 9997. Now, why are we adding, besides, so I'm going to go ahead and, hit and click add here, so why are we doing that um, besides the obvious that there are two different devices? So we want to send the telemetry out the interface that is facing the PNM sensor or whatever type of um, sensor is actually receiving all of this NetFlow telemetry. What we don't want to do is send it out um, an interface that's not directly routable to us. So in, the, in this particular case at the HQ, the data center interface, the, um, the PNM sensor is sitting in the data center, so the data center is actually routable to that PNM center sensor. Um, at the remote site, you know, it doesn't have um, as many interfaces. It's got an inside and outside, so the uh, PNM sensor is sitting on the inside as part of the regular network. So what will happen now is when we actually push this config, uh, we're going to set it up so that it knows, you know, which one it's pushing through, pushing to. So when it pushes to the HQ device, it's going to go, and this is actually just going to be the default, but if it pushes to the remote site, then it's going to use these variables, these set variables. I hope that was clear. So here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to flex config objects that are going to be calling those particular text objects. I'm going to type in NetFlow. So here's our four objects and what we're going to need to do is make a copy of uh, the ones we're going to be using inside our flex config policy. And we're going to need to make a copy of the add destination one here. So make a copy and we now this is going to be reference inside the flex config policy we can add anything we want here uh, I'll just say for the FTDs um, we don't really need to add and you'll see in a minute why this is Im semi important here because we're, it's just the object that we're going to be referencing inside there so let's go ahead and click save and for the set parameters we're going to do the same thing that flow set parameters do the same thing up there save And let's refresh it. You can see that they're both there. NetFlow. Oh, sorry. Flex config. Flex config object. NetFlow. And there they are, the ones I just made copies of. So we could actually go in there and edit it if we want to do some, any edits to it or anything like that. We're not going to. We're just going to be able to leverage them inside the flex config policy. So let's go do that. We're going to go to devices, flex config, new policy. And we're going to call of this. Uh, this will be the one we're going to be applying to our HQ site. So FTD HQ flex config can add any description you want to it. So X config, add policy, save. And the reason we can do this, you know, we could make one for both of these and the object will actually, um, that we created earlier, will be is smart enough to realize um, what text object it's supposed to pull to put the right information in there. Remember the data center interface for this one and the room inside interface for this one, but I'm just kind of showing you how to use one at a time if you want different flex config policies for different locations can't show everything in this, but uh, I'm doing my best to uh, show you what's important. You can see over here my user defined one. So I'm going to add destination and my set parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. Add destination, set parameters. Now as a general rule, when we're adding a configuration, it is an append of the flex config. When we're removing a configuration, it is a prepend in the flex config. That's a basic um, it's kind of like a basic rule, but I'm not going to tell you it's always true, but for the most part, that's going to be the way this works. So let's go ahead and click Save, and let's preview the configuration. So we're going to select the device that we're actually putting this on, FTDHQ. 
It's going to go in and retrieve it, and it's going to walk. We're going to walk down there and take a look at what um, the configuration that's going to be pushed out to the FDD is going to look like. Okay, it looks like it can finish. So there's a whole bunch of um, automatically generated stuff. We're going to go all the way down here to the bottom. This is what we're interested in. Flex config, append, command line interface, flow export destination, data center interface to this IP address on this particular port. Then, of course, in our global policy, um, flow export event, all types, and we're sending all those to this particular location. And then our timer is 1130. So, Let's go ahead and close this out right now. We're done with this and we've saved it. So the only thing we have left to do is go ahead and deploy this. Now you can, depending on whether you need to do your firewall stuff inside a maintenance window, I completely understand, but I've done this. Um, there is no snort interruption if you do this um, during a non-maintenance window or when during a production time. Um, but you know, by all means, follow your procedures inside of uh, your particular enterprise. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and deploy this. We're going to go deploy, deployment, and the FTD HQ. Now, what's going to happen is we're it's going to pop up with a warning, basically saying that we're not going to be able to uh, sandbox machine console config. We're not going to be able to sandbox this entire configuration because you're using flex config, so you're going to have to go ahead and go through it. See, there it is. Um, warning flex config policies do not contain, yada, yada, yada. There's another one up there about a, something else I'm working on. We're going to go ahead and ignore that one. And this is a lab environment, so I'm constantly playing with it. Okay, it looks like it completed. So obviously I fast forwarded a little bit and a lot of times those uh, take a little bit longer to push out there, but there's no way to verify inside the GUI that it's sending the telemetry like we expect it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the command line and do the verification. So here we are in the command line of our um, FTD and let's go ahead and do a show flow-export counters. And you can see we are sending traffic out our data center interface uh, to this particular address on this particular port. So it looks like things are working. So if you hit the up arrow, now this is a lab environment, so we only have like 11 packets sent so far. Um, in a real environment, this thing is going to be sending a ton of telemetry down there. But it is, in fact, configured correctly. It is, in fact, sending telemetry. You know, we've checked it twice now, and it's still it's sent out 13 packets to our PNM sensor. In the... Um, We'll do the verification on whether or not it's being received and properly consumed into the PNM sensor in another video. But for the this particular um, configuration right here, this is actually up and running, and this is how you get Ensel to be sent to a PNM sensor um, using um, uh, the FMC for the configuration. So this has been Cisco Secure Firewall configuring NetFlow or Ensel Network Secure Event Logging using Flex Config. Ensel is what we call it on ASAs and FTDs. So if this has been helpful to you, by all means, leave us a thumbs up down below. And if you have any comments, go ahead and leave those too. We always appreciate a little positive reinforcement.